What's up, YouTube? This Rose go back again with another video, and I check it out. Now, where are we at at the takeoff case? Since new information has fell upon our laps, <laughs> so to speak, um, people. So you got like paperwork party. They have allegedly talked to the Houston Police Department chief and his wife, all right, and his wife. So he has this on a recording. Now, whether, see, I don't know if that's really him. I mean, he gave the phone number out. I did not call it. I seen some comments. Some people said they called it. You know what I'm saying? It went straight to him. You know, uh, who knows? But the thing about that is, so when Paper Out Party calls the chief, the chief is in some type of meeting, but he thinks He's talking over the phone with Mike Prince. And Paperwork Party is, act, is acting like he's Mike Prince telling him, hey, how did my name get on that paperwork, da, da, this and that. You know what I'm saying? You take my name off that paperwork. And the chief is telling him, you need to go down there to the police station, take your ass down there, and what? Tell them a statement of what happened. Stuff like that. So then when he calls, paperwork party calls the wife, the wife is spilling beans in a sense. Uh, paperwork party is asking her, is there any technology in the house? Is there any type of paperwork, you know, literature that's, that, that could possibly, you know, uh, you know, attach that to the takeoff delf and everything like that. And she's like, no, at first. But then later on in the conversation, it sort of seems like, it may be something and she's going to call somebody. I forgot who she said she was going to call. She's going to call somebody to make sure, you know, that I did all as well. Right? So, it seems believable. Maybe it was. I don't know who, who that was. It could have possibly been the chief. Either way, if it was the chief, I'm going to tell you this. He didn't, They didn't fucked up because, but... I'm thinking, I, see, I don't know what to believe. You know what I'm saying about this takeoff case no more. So it's like, uh, like I said, if that really was him, I would have, if I was paper, paperwork party, I would have sent that to the police ASAP and had me some copies of that combo. You know what I'm saying? Because that was enough right there to, to dig a bigger hole to be getting justice for takeoff. Because a lot of people want the Prince family empire crumbled. I get it. I understand. You see what I'm saying? I understand that shit. So, so we got that going on. I'm trying to see where we at with this damn takeoff case. You know what I'm saying? Now we, we got that going on. You know what I'm saying? We got the paperwork out on Jay Prince and them. They some rats. You know what I'm saying? Then, we, then, then, then you know, these, these 4K ass pitches that's popped up. Like, no time in the, you know, everybody just had the TMZ shit. That all this and that, and all of a sudden this damn 4K <laughs> picture comes out. So they got that whole hour and 17 minutes in in uh dog on me 4K. Then I realized, shut up. Then I realized last night, and that's from identical. Somebody sent them some stuff. And then I realized, um, uh, Ratchet TV had a live last night, and guess what? His, his, shut up, his thumbnail was also in 4K. And it was a picture of Quavo that night, red shirt on, at the, uh, playing dice. On the damn pool table. I ain't never seen it. Till now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. How he get a 4K picture all of a sudden too? So somebody is sending these bloggers, different bloggers, different parts of the video, or do these people have the whole video? Because if anybody has the whole video, as much as people want to find out this and that, don't juice it. Put the some bitch out. Now I fuck with everybody, but I'm just saying, put the some bitch out. 
So I'm assuming they don't have the whole video. Because I'm kind of saying stuff that some other people might be saying or thinking. You see what I'm saying? So they might not have the video. They are getting, I guess they are getting sent these different photos. But to scare who, though? Is this to scare somebody? Like like the identical twins, shout out to them, they had that picture. Who is that to scare? I'm assuming it's to scare the Prince family and the police station. Right? Because then identical twins says, hey, allegedly... The damn police, the ball head man, the chief, calls him, calls them and says, or contacts them, texts them, whatever, contacts them, right, and says, how did y'all get that picture? It's looking like this chief needs to be questioned, right? He needs to be questioned. We already know that in the beginning, they said that he has ties with mob ties. He was on vacation. He was on vacation, right? And then he comes back. He stops his vacation to talk about this takeoff situation. And they said, yeah, he has ties in the Fifth Ward. He used to be street, so they say. Right? So, yeah. When people say he's allegedly crooked, yeah, I, I could believe it. I, I made a video about it a while ago. I said, shit, he ain't the only one. <laughs> Message. He's not the only one. If he has ties, he's not the only one in that department that has ties with the Prince family. Slash Smith family. Because now it comes out their last name used to be Smith. <laughs> I thought it was always Prince. <laughs> so I'm learning as I'm going, right? Oh, man. So it's just a lot with this. Um, So this is my thing about those clear ass, 4K ass, crystal clear as water pictures. Who sent that to Ratchet? Who sent that to Identical? Is this a play as well? Oh, it can be sent out to get you thinking to for you, for us to come, you know, together to say this and that so that that person don't have to come out and, and, and really say this and that. But if a person, I'm starting to think, if a person really wants justice for somebody, you would tell, you would show that, you would have copies for yourself, Copies for you. Why don't you go straight to the FBI then? If you scared of them. The local police. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just tricky. Because I've seen this shit before. And, and people can play on people's sensitive side. Like I truly believe Ratchet TV wants uh, justice. I truly believe uh, identical twins want justice. I truly believe that bloggers that are telling the truth, they really want justice now you have clickbaiters out here i'll get on that in a minute but this is what i'm saying i truly believe these people want justice huh it's either they want justice for takeoff or they want the prince family to go down either way that's justice <laughs> in my eyes you see what i'm saying for takeoff for many reasons right but that's my thing. Like, is this a play on certain bloggers? Not the bloggers are throwing plays. I'm talking about, is this a certain play for bloggers that's going to speak on it? My identical twin said, the person that sent them that photo, that 4K ass, crystal clear ass photo, is knows uh, one of the twins know that person personally, and that person was at that party. That's my thing, though. See, this is the thing I'm looking at. I have to put myself in everybody's shoes. 
if I was Jay Prince family and I was uh, and also before I say that now they're saying was the dad there at this party yeah Mr. Jay Prince was he there at that party and it had came out that other celebrities big ass celebrities were there at that party but nobody has said anything about that as far as who else was at that party. Because we know Finesse two times was supposed to be there. No cap was supposed to be there. But them two didn't come. But after that, we didn't hear anything about, well, this person was there. Or this another person that was supposed to be there. But they wouldn't, you know, all that shit. We didn't hear no more about that. So that brings me back to. And then, yeah, like they say, the, uh, the dad supposed to have been there. Too much information at once. All right, that's how I'm feeling right about now. So then, that like I said, that brings me back to this, right? Is this a damn play on the bloggers? Because this is what I was going to say. If I was, you know, anybody in the Prince family, and I was anybody in the police station, right? Houston PD, right? HPD. I would automatically know, especially the people that was jazzing them and uh, uh, Jay Prince Jr. and all of them, I would know who the hell was right there. Because whoever was right there, they taped all this shit. And if you listen to my video yesterday, you would know who I think was taping in the damn 4K. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Because you had regular people there, like the female that was by the Chucky Dow guy, and her shit was even blurry. It wasn't 4K, whatever phone she had. But it's somebody there with some 4K camera action. Now, who the hell is that? It would, I, like I said, if I was anybody in the Prince family, I would, and if, and if I was there at that party, I would know. Who that was. Who had that good ass camera. Whether it was a phone. Or some type of other type of camera. I would know who did that shit. So this is my point. It ain't no secret. Who gave you this shit. And it could possibly be. Somebody. That wasn't even taping that. That gave that picture up. But somebody that did tape it. Gave it to that person to give the picture up. You see what I'm saying. Listen, this could all be another play because nobody's getting any further because no other footage or nothing like no other pictures or nothing has came out. So that's that come back to Ratchet TV. How did who sent his ass this clear ass 4K picture of Quavo of that night? That shit crazy because I feel like this somebody's playing games with these bloggers. Even if you don't call yourself a blogger and you a street person and all this shit, if your ass come on here, you you are considered a damn blogger. Alright? If you on here talking about any damn thing, that is a blogger. You want to be a content creator, whatever. You on here talking shit, bro. Whether it's true shit or fake shit. You on here talking shit, right? So, you know, this is my thing. It looks like <laughs> somebody's playing a game. Why did they wait this long to bring that shit up? Now I got to ask questions like that because I've seen this before. In the Mo3 case, in the Dolph case. You see what I'm saying? Especially in the Dolph case, all the damn info that has came out and nobody still picked up Gotti's ass. Message, get to this. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's, you know what I'm saying? And that was my number one rapper of this era. And shit. The closest we got was um, Orange Mound Quit. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. It's looking like somebody's running a play. Another one. Because if I say, I'm look, it, I really want justice for dogs. So if I was there, damn it. 
and I videotaped everything every, every from the time they got off that car, from the time they went up to that window, from the time whatever, whatever, to the ending. You think I'm going to sit on that? You think I'm going to give it to a blogger? I'm going to take that shit to where it need to be. You damn right. So what's up with the games and shit? I'm scared to go to them. Why? Who are you though? You see what I'm saying? Who is this person that they're that they are scared? Cause let it be known, people come in, come on here and talk about Quavo, uh, talk about takeoff, talk talk about uh J Prince Jr., talk about jazz, talk about they whole empire. Mike Prince, Mr. J Prince, all that shit. And guess what? They not scared. They not scared to show their face when they saying this shit. So how can another regular person, just because you attended the party, well then if you attended the party, they know who did it. They know who sent that shit. It's not going to be hard to tell who sent the shit. This is my point. Why didn't you take your stank ass up there to the FBI or some shit? Send it anonymous, anonymously. You feel me? Nail that bitch. This is what I don't get. Somebody is getting paid to do that because identical twins said they allegedly put something in their cash app for this photo or for the video. Huh? If you want justice, you wouldn't even receive a payment, bro. For what? That shit is priceless, bro. Ain't no priceless on somebody's death. People just need to be careful of who they talking to and shit because and bringing out certain information because that could get you caught up <laughs> in a certain way. Because if they scared to say something, but you feel like, oh, no, nah, I ain't going to be scared to say nothing. Well, then shit. That's telling, I would, this is just me. I'd be looking at them, well, why you scared? You the one say you really, really, really want justice for takeoff, but at the same time, you scared to give up the information, bro. But you're going to give it to people that's on here talking. They can't do shit. <laughs> but some street justice, you see what I'm saying? But can't do shit other than that. And who's going to be bad enough to go get street justice for takeoff? Keep it a G. Huh? Because, look, nobody's obligated. And I've said this before. Nobody's obligated. Not a fan. Not just because you feel like, oh, he was a good dude. Y'all can't keep doing good dudes like this. I agree. But nobody's obligated to do a damn thing but takeoff's team. His family, they are obligated to do, to do that shit. That's just, and we can uh, raise awareness about this shit. That's what that's totally different. But that's just like the Dolph case. Nobody's obligated to do anything for Dolph when that happened. But P R E and Dolph's family, they were obligated to do that shit. Should nobody out here be risking their damn life because? Most of us don't even know Dolph. Most of us don't even know Takeoff. You know what I'm saying? You've seen him a couple times. That don't mean you know the man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know this man. You feel me? You don't know him as Kirshner's or, or whatever his name was. Rest in peace to Takeoff. You know what I'm saying? You don't know him as that. You know him as a rapper name. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know Dolph. We don't know him, know him as Adolf. You know what I mean? Or Man Man. We don't know him as his nickname back in the day and shit like that. You don't know that man. I don't know that man. But this is my thing. The only person that's obligated to do that is my damn family and shit like that to take care of that. Keep it a G, man. That's what I'm saying. All this shit could be a fucking play. Now, these clickbaiters. Yeah, you got clickbaiters out here. Because they have realized that people that don't know about clickbaiting will believe anything. And they're making money. Hell yeah. I've seen a couple bloggers talk about that. They out here winning, man. Yeah. I can't hate on them. Hey, it is what it is. Because people, it, clickbait ain't going to go nowhere. 
And let me tell you, it's all type of racists that are doing that clickbait and shit. Uh-huh. Especially when it comes down to black on black crime. Yes, they clickbait the shit out of our ass. Right? But then you got to think about this. And then every time somebody brings out information, we want to fight amongst ourselves on who got the credit for it. You didn't even shout me out. What hell? You know what I'm saying? Like Identical said. They said, man, we don't care who use whatever, whatever, man. Get this shit out. I think they just broke something right there in these YouTube streets. Because everybody acknowledges the identical twins as some, or some, some, some real ones, so to speak, right? Some real ones. And they letting all the bloggers know, hey, who cares about that? Because if you trying to get justice, does that matter? Like, really think about it. Do it matter, though? Who brung it out first? Who brung it out last? Who, who talked about it the first day? Who talked about it the next day? You got that from this. You got that. You got it here first. You got, you know what I'm saying? That's that shit. That's that shit. Now, it goes, that goes deep though, because you could have somebody that's hating on you, right? And don't nobody know, but you and that person, I get that too. And they could kind of like downplay you talking about, yeah, 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 you got that for me. You know, you know what I'm saying? I get it because everybody don't know what's going on in these YouTube streets. But if you are a content creator slash blogger, whatever you want to call yourself on here, if you got a platform on here and you be talking shit, let me tell you something. We know the 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 goddamn uh, uh, how, how this shit spins. You know what I'm saying? A blogger knows the game of another blogger. That's just what it is. But see, you'll have their audience. You know, everybody's audience is going to believe you. Right? They're going to believe most of what you say. So that's why you want to be as truthful as you can. But then you got the other people that will, since they believe you, they're going to go to that person's page and be like, what, man? Unsubscribe, da da this and that shit, right? Then, they, then later on, they're going to find out the person you did that for is also a, a, a fake. <laughs> like, they're also a fake. Because one day, they're going to say something that you don't like. And that's going to make you unsubscribe from their ass. You know what I'm saying? So, all of this shit plays, it's just a circle. It's a recycled circle. All of this information everybody gets is what? It's recycled. Because even though I could be the first one to put something out, right? But where did I get it from? I ain't even just pull it out my ass. Where I get it from? You had to get it from somewhere, whether it was affidavit, black and white, whatever. You still got it from some type of source. You still got it from somebody's source. You see what I'm saying? That's just like when you put up a thumbnail, you might take somebody's thumbnail and put your put it on your video. Look, you took my thumbnail. No, 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 no. You took somebody's pictures and made it your thumbnail. <laughs> Where did you get it from? Did they tell you it was all right to put their face on there? Did J. Prince Jr. say, hey, it's okay to use my face, y'all, on these thumbnails, even though y'all talking shit on me? No, 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 no. No. Even though it's public, you still got it from somewhere. From the public. That's the shit I be talking about. But anyway, back to these clear-ass pictures. Who the fuck's sending these pictures? Because you got people out here that really want justice for takeoff. They don't want some watered down shit. You talk one day, then you talk another day. We still ain't seen no more footage. So I'm not blaming these bloggers. I'm blaming who the hell is bringing this shit to the attention. Because if you got a whole hour and 17 minutes, because if this was the Dolph case and somebody had a whole damn hour and 17 minutes of this boy's murder, and you mean you ain't going to take it to the higher ups? If you don't trust one, you go to the next one. You mean to tell me you ain't going to bring it out? 
You know what I would say? Oh, this shit a joke. I'm glad nobody had an hour and 17 minutes on Dolph case. That shit crazy as hell. How you gonna have a whole hour over a whole damn hour of this man's death and, and your ass ain't saying shit for real, for real. You just bringing out pictures and shit. That's crazy. Shit. And another damn thing, if they are, and now look, if they have already sent this video and everybody seen it, you know, certain people have seen it. I got questions for y'all too. Like, put that shit out. But but identical twin said when they get more information, so it's like they don't have all the information. They just sent them this picture because they said they will bring this out to the public, right? I don't know. That's where I'm. I'm at at this takeoff case. As far as whatever, whatever. Y'all tell me what y'all think in these comments. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel like at the end of the day, to put closure to this video, I just feel like at the end of ending, at the end of the day, if you really want justice for takeoff, takeoff is looking like takeoff already had justice on somebody's phone or somebody's professional lens. You hear me? Because, like I said, if I was in the Prince family, just looking at the photo they put out, I, w I would t put two and two together. Who the hell was standing right there when uh, this was going on? That's what I'm saying. It's not hard to find out. That's why I'm like, is this a play? Because that wouldn't be hard for anybody. To literally find out who the hell had a camera like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, man, come on, man. People not dumb out here, all right? People not dumb on this internet. People not dumb in real life, man. People not that dumb in real life, all right? Especially when you're trying to find out something. You're not dumb like that. So that's what I'm saying, people. And I, 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 I kind of got a, 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 a thought, a theory of who did it, but I ain't going to say nothing because I said it in my video yesterday. So if you remember what I said, kudos to you. But y'all let me know. Who do y'all think this is? Is this person running a play? Is this person trying to get our minds off of something else that's going on in the takeoff case? That maybe people stop talking about, maybe. Huh? Did they say, nah, put this out, watch them niggas go crazy? Huh? Watch them have all type of theories. Yeah, put that out. Just, just rashing it to they ass. Got to start thinking like that. Because this internet sucks ass at times. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. I'm just thinking about that. How the hell you got all this footage, whoever the person is, but you won't tell the right people. We can't do anything. We can talk shit about it all day, but we can't do nothing. But that person that got that can so that's the only thing. You ha you not scared to give it to somebody, but you but you scared to give it to the right people, but, but you ain't scared to give it to Y'all let me know what y'all think. And how the hell did Ratchet get that clear ass 4K picture, huh? Is this same person? Because I'm telling you, if this same person, which it has to be, is sending different bloggers, different type of pictures, man, that shit sound like a play. Another play. Because that person could also solve the takeoff case and that person could free a man that everybody feels like he's innocent. But you gonna sit on it? Tell me how that shit makes sense, man. Message.